Hello again, in this video we are learning how to get a, an install.wem or a boot.wem file from the Windows 10 ISO file that you can download from the Microsoft website. So in order to do that we are going to um, do a search for, if you don't have a fully licensed copy of Windows 10, you can do a search of Microsoft Evaluation Center and then once you find the Microsoft Evaluation Center, the official site, uh, you can search for Windows 10 Enterprise under Products, the Products menu, and that will bring you to the Windows uh, Family uh, Download Center and you can look for Windows 10 Enterprise and select the ISO file which is the one that you want to download. You will click on OK or continue in this case and then enter the information for yourself And then just enter the information. Once you complete uh, all the information requirements, just select 64 bit for the platform that you are using and then the language in my case is English and then click on download. The option to save the file will be given to you and then you just choose the location in which you want to place the ISO file that you are downloaded for from the Microsoft website for Windows 10. I'm not going to download the file because I already have the file downloaded on my computer so you can see the uh, Windows 10 file right here. This is the uh, the full ISO file for Windows 10 from the Microsoft website. Now, the goal that we are trying to achieve is we are trying to get the install.wim and the boot.wim file from the ISO file that we downloaded from the Microsoft Evaluation Center. So what we will do is we are going to utilize another piece of software that is uh, readily available for us, which is the Power ISO application that we can use to uh, get the ISO, the uh, install.wim and the boot.wim out of the ISO file that we downloaded from the Microsoft website. So you will be downloading the Powered ISO. It's a free uh, application, a free download, so there is no need for you to worry about any, any payments that you need to make. So download Powered ISO. And as soon as you do that, you will be able to uh, from the uh, and as soon as you install Powered ISO on your computer, you will be able to go to the downloads folder, select the ISO file, right click on the ISO file and then select open with Power ISO. Once you do that, Power ISO will open up. You don't need to enter a registration code, you can continue and register and then go to the sources folder and here you will be looking under the sources folder on the left, you will be looking for the boot.wim file. The boot.wim file it is in alphabetical order. You will right click on the boot.wim file and then select extract. Uh, of course, I'm going to select the downloads folder. In my case, click on OK. And as soon as I do that, it will be placed in the uh, downloads folder for me. I already completed that so I don't need to do it again. It is right here, boot.wim. And the same applies to the install.wim. All I need to do is go back to the Power ISO uh, application, look for install install.wim install here and then right click on that and select extract. Select the location which I want to extract the file. Click, it on, click on OK. In my case, I'm not going to do it because I already completed that. And if I go back to the downloads folder, it is right here, install.wim. 
Uh, those two files are important whenever you're using WDS or Windows Deployment Services because those are the files that will be advertised to your desktops or, 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 or clients, laptops or desktops that you are trying to deploy Windows 10, for example, as a new operating system. So these two files are important for WDS. Uh, you will be able to utilize them as part of your WDS uh, installation. So right here I have a, 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 a um, an instance of WDS on a virtual machine that I have, Windows 2012 R2. All I need to do is just go under the boot images or install images and add it by finding the file that I downloaded in the steps that I showed you before. With that said, until next time.